boy. This is it. I can't, this is. Hello, welcome back to Emperor's Path. My name is SBJ, and today we have some very special. About a month ago, Hornby got in contact with me and basically asked if I'd weather some stuff for them. Uh, a little bit down the line, if we managed to make an agreement, and they have sent me a box. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this box open. We're going to have a look what's inside. This is, as you can see, unopened, and we're going to get my first reactions. Oh boy! It's at this point that I'm going to mention that all of this has been provided by Hornby and this is a partnership with them. So please be aware of that. And if you enjoy the stuff that you see in this video, please make sure you go and check it out. Okay. Cut here. And yeah. So FYI, <laughs> this is all going to be a shock to me is exactly what's in here. Uh, they asked if there was anything in particular that I needed. Uh, I gave them a list of the things that I liked uh, and we're going from there. So a lot of this is gonna be new to me. I, I can't get over, I can't explain how excited I am about all of this, um, but yeah. Okay, what we got, what we got, what we got? Okay. Sheet. If it's an order sheet, I don't want to read it, don't want to spoil the surprise. Yeah, it's an order sheet, don't read that. Okay, so. This is it. I can't, this is. I'm so excited. This is. This is heavy for what I am anticipating. So. Okay. Okay, folks, everyone keep their cool. Stay calm. Stay calm, Sam. I also don't want to break anything that's possibly in here, so. One of the bits of criteria that Hornby said is that they'd like me to weather something with their products. So uh, what we've done is I usually use oil paint. That's my main process for weathering. And then I use the airbrush to add in some of the dirt, dust and grime that goes on top of it. So Hornby don't do oil paints. So uh, speaking with them, I've gone through a list of things that are available and all of this is going to be brand new to me and I'm going to be using it for the first time. So, <sighs> I can feel my heart like that. This is just very exciting, isn't it? Like, who, who wouldn't be excited? It's like Christmas has come early. Okay. Okay, okay right. Aha. Uh -huh. So, we have the weathering acrylic paint pens. So these are a set of pens that are suitable for plastic, metal, plaster, wood, rock, hard foam, card and paper. The pen nib pump action allows careful and controlled application, giving a high level of detailing. Being acrylic, water-based, cleaning and adjustments can be made to finesse the finished products. And this comes with a dark grey, a light grey, natural wood, khaki, grass green and rust. So that is going to be a very fun product to use. This is... Uh, so one thing we did talk about is that I use acrylics rather than enamels. Uh, if you've not seen any of my stuff before and this is the first time that you're coming here, uh, I specifically asked for acrylics where possible simply because I prefer airbrushing with acrylic paints. So we have got uh, Humber Acrylic number 98, which is chocolate matte. When going through the website, looking at the different colors, some of the colours that are available look very similar. So I gave a list of the colours that would be useful and just sort of said, don't necessarily give me every single one of these colours if you don't have to, because I, a lot of them are very similar and I'm just going off what the picture says on the website. Uh, Humble Acrylic number 10, which is Service Brown Gloss. So that's a gloss one. Uh, Humble Acrylic Gen 2, 113 which is a rust mat. Uh, so this is acrylic gen two, uh, number 21, and it's a black gloss. Now a black gloss is not one that I've used before, but I'm really interested to use that because it will simulate the oil a lot better than just doing it with uh, just a normal general black paint. 
Uh, acrylic number 29, which is Dark Earth. That's a nice colour. It's more like a dirty sand, I'd almost say a fudge caramel sort of colour on that one. Uh, and then we have Humber Acrylic Gen 2, 145, which is medium grey. So medium grey, that's the sort of colours that I'd be using to do a lot of the uh, streaking on roofs and stuff like that. So that's very good. More paints here. So we've got Humber Acrylic, no number. Uh, black Satin. Number 85, it says in small print here. So that is a satin black. That's the kind of black that I would use uh, to create a lot of the soot uh, and dirt that comes out of exhausts and diesels and things like that. Uh, Humber Acrylic Gen 2, number 70, uh, which is brick red matte. So that is, I'd say a slightly more, I mean, you're gonna say duh, but this rust color is more red. This one is more brown, so interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, and then we have a matte tank grey, which is acrylic number 67. Once again, that'll be used on the roofs uh, and for just putting general all-purpose stuff that usually sort of sits on the roofs and creates just a big mess on the stuff that doesn't necessarily get reached. Acrylic number 160, uh, German camouflage red matte. So once again, we've got, yeah, we've got a lot of browns and ready browns and stuff like that. So having a look at the colours before we move on to the next bit. We've got two blacks, one satin, one gloss. Uh, we've got brown. So that was brown gloss. Very sandy brown. So we've got ready brick brown, browns, sort of dark chocolatey browns. Uh, we've got two different types of grey. We've got a light grey for some of the uh, lime scale uh, build up that you can get. So you get that white streaking down the side of things. And then you've got the darker one to do that sort of dirty uh, rain washed appearance on the roofs and they've also got this sandy sort of stone sandy let's go with sandy uh, sort of brown which can be used uh, to simulate some of the dust that isn't necessarily sleeper grime it's more dust from the area rather than dirt from the rails so yeah we've got that uh, then we have the Humbra weathering powders pack which you can see there uh, that contains brown earth, dark earth, bright sand, white sand, and texturing powder. So I am intrigued to use those. Uh, if you've followed me before, you'll know I'm not necessarily somebody who uses weathering powders a lot, but I think that'll be something that'll be really fun to use to add some additional texture to a loco. And then we have aging powders, which is the aging powders, rust primer and soot. So we've got a light rust, medium rust, dark rust, black, smoke, and iron oxide. So that would be a real fun one to use. Um, I think that one would be quite fun to really, well, both of the packs of weathering powders would be really good to just absolutely destroy a wagon. So we'll look into that. Move that out of the way. And then finally, we have this box. Ah! Okay, so this is something that I am extremely excited about uh, to use because I've never used them before and I've heard fantastic things about these. So these are the Humbrol washes. Uh, so these are really good for adding sort of lining detail uh, on coaches, wagons and stuff like that. Um, these are enamels, so it's something that I don't usually use, but I am excited to give it a try. Uh, so we've got a dark brown wash enamel. Does that have a number? Can't see it, but that's the dark brown enamel. Then we have the dark grey wash enamel. The gloss oil stain wash enamel. That'll be fun. It's interesting that it says oil stain, but it appears to be more like a brown. Okay, that might need a good shake. Uh, then we've got some rust wash enamel. And the black wash enamel. Now this is the one that I've seen used the most. Uh, this is the one that a lot of people put in door linings and things like that. So I'm very, very excited by this. So Hornby, thank you so much for sending all of this. Uh, coming up in the future, you're gonna see some videos of me weathering products um, using this 
uh, equipment that Hornby have sent me. So thank you so, so much, Hornby. So a very short video, but hopefully it's one that you've enjoyed. If there's anything in particular you'd like to see me weather, please leave it in the comments down below. Likewise, if you have enjoyed this video, please click the like button. And if you haven't already and you want to see all of the future videos on any weathering that I do, you can click the subscribe button. And if you want to see every video that comes out, if you click the little bell and then click all, it will show you every video that I release. Thanks very much for watching. YouTube's going to suggest two videos to you now that it thinks you might like, and hopefully one of them is going to be something about weathering.